Alright, so the uh, Song of Time also has two other uses. You can play it backwards, and it'll actually slow the flow of time to about a third. So you have three times as long to play through. And I usually always play it. There's sometimes when you don't want to. And then you can play the every note twice. And that will allow you to advance half a day in time. I'm not going to actually do it. I just wanted to play it for you so you could kind of see. So with that knowledge, we're going to go back into the clock tower and talk to the mask salesman again. I want to know how he got a piano in there. Alright, so now we have the Deku Mask. The Deku Mask is used uh, if you want to return to the Deku form. Um, and he actually is pretty useful, even though he, you know, is very limited in his attacks. All right, well, now that we're done with that, we're going to head outside of here. Alright, so now we can head out of the swamp, but before we do that, there's a few things we need to grab. So we're going to go to uh, the ferry again, but in order to do that, since we reset time, we have to go get the uh, little stray ferry again. She's in the same spot as she was before. But now we have 
uh, the tools needed to get our second mask. We got our first mask when we got the Deku mask. Now we're going to get the next mask. And there's 24 masks in total. And there's 20 masks that are actually uh, considered tradable. When we get right here, slash this thing with your sword. Can't really do anything with it just yet, but uh, we'll get there. Alright, we're going to go in here again, like we did before. And the mask that we're going to get, it kind of looks uh, looks stupid, and you probably would think it's pointless, but it's actually a pretty useful mask later in the game. So. Alright, so now we have the uh, Great Fairy's Mask, so we're going to go claim a couple heart pieces to try to get our health up before we venture to the first temple. Now you probably saw this one when you first got to town. Um, there was absolutely no way you were going to get it as a uh, DQ scrub, because it's just too, too high. So what you're going to do, you're going to come up here. And then you'll jump over here. Whoop, don't jump too far. Like I did. And then you'll jump over here. And then you'll jump over here. And then over here. And voila, you have piece of heart number two. Okay, so from here, we're going to go to East Clock Town. And we're going to go back to the uh, sewer again. And we're going to go grab the uh, moon's tier again. Alright, so I got code 4, 3, 5, 2, 1. And hopefully you wrote it down because I had to actually go look and see what my code was because I'd forgotten. But go in here. We're going to go get another Moon's Tear, like I said. I'm going to need to equip my DQ mask because I don't have any other way to pop this little balloon. So, And the first time you put on the transformation mask, you'll have to watch this little cutscene. Any other time, you can just press A and you can skip it. So... Go ahead and grab these rupees real fast. So we'll go talk to the observatory guy again and get another moon's tier. Same procedure as before. Just, uh, you know, look at the Skull Kid and watch the moon's tear fall.
Alright, so we got another moon's tier. And we're gonna go back outside to the, uh, to Clock Town. And right now, there's really nothing for us to do until we get to about midnight, so we're going to do a little bit of uh, running around and getting some rupees, so you can run through it as many times as you like. Uh, I'm just going to run through it once, because rupees are pretty common to get here, and I'm actually going to show you uh, another place to get some rupees here pretty quick, and you can get these rupees anytime, and every time you play the Song of Time, the chest completely refills itself, so you can get more. So come over here, and uh, Jim will uh, be impressed because you, you know, you got in without knowing the code, and now you have the bomber's notebook. And if you ever forget your code, you can check it, and I'll show you how to check the uh, bomber's notebook real fast. He's going to run away really quick. You come over here, you can see your bomber's notebook and you can check everything. There's like 20 people. And it'll show you whenever they have something that you can do at specific times. And it shows you where the code is. So now if you hang a left here, and you jump over here, and then you want to jump over here as close to the wall as you can, and then jump over here, climb up here, and then go over here, you'll see a treasure chest and it holds a hundred rupees and this one will uh, refill itself every time you play this on a time so we're gonna go put the uh, our money in the bank and then we're gonna go right around terminal field until about midnight so Pause it all, 127 rupees. So now we have 334. Okay, from here, we're going to go down and we're going to leave Terminal Field for the first time. Or, we're going to leave South Clock Town for the first time. You're going to have to talk to the little guy. He won't let you through until he realizes you have a sword. Alright, so starting here, we're going to go to the southeast, towards the observatory. You can see the observatory right there, so we're just going to, we're going to go straight there. Um, there's some, you know, bushes, and then there's the chews. We got about 15 rupees, not too bad. Come around here. Go ahead and slash these bushes up as well. I'm going to go ahead and play the inverted song of time to revert time back to normal because we don't want to take too long. Because as long as we're back by, uh, you know, midnight, we're good to go. So if it gets too close, I'll just play the song again. Alright, if you get over here, you'll see a guy climbing a tree. Just roll into it, and it should knock him down. 